coming out because I'm a high school teacher and I taught her many years ago. So when she graduated from high school, I gave her a Saul Williams book. So this is really special for both of us. This is called Nonverbal Learning Disorder. It sounded made up, and after five hours of neuropsychological testing, of being faced with beads I could not arrange on wooden posts, of stroop tests, of blocks I couldn't position, and the patterns they asked, of recalling lists of words I recited but could but did not properly organize into categories to help me remember them. I did not want some made-up diagnosis. I wanted drugs. I wanted a pill I could take that would provide concentration, motivation, organization, and every other Asian I needed and never had, but I only got one, an explanation for my whole life, a fucked up looking glass to recolor history, the reason I have no mental filter, why I only like music for the lyrics, not the actual melodies, why I can't find my way out of a paper bag, the cause of my bad handwriting and hatred of anything math related, the basis of my fear of exercise and team sports, the root of why I don't get art or philosophy, or why I got enraged every Sunday when my ex wanted to do puzzles or play Scrabble. How when you're 30 and you learn that your white matter doesn't function properly, and that's why you keep getting fired from bullshit jobs, why you can't sustain a relationship, keep friends, why you can't ever keep your mouth shut, why you insist on always telling the truth, even when you're becoming your rude, crazy grandmother who yells, he's too old for her, she can do better, in the middle of your cousin's wedding ceremony. <laughs> it's not any kind of comfort. It doesn't turn failures away. It just reminds you that you never had a choice. It proves that a malfunction in the right hemisphere controlled personality, formed what you could and couldn't do, and ensured that you take everything, even the diagnosis, the wrong way. That's it for all of the voices of the court.